Hi everyone! Hi! So we have more, uh, more distributors rolling in and we're about to start. So welcome everyone to the second webinar of the day. Um, this is a, the official Tina Davies Professional Lip Pigment Collection webinar. So thank you for joining us. Uh, for those of you who I haven't officially met or spoken to or emailed, I'm Alex. I'm your partner success manager here at Tina Davies. To my left, we have Luke Davies, co-founder of Tina Davies Professional. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> to his left, we have world-renowned artist, PMU artist, Tina Davies, co-founder as well as Tina Davies <laughs> Professional. And we have a very special guest joining us today, um, founder of World Famous and Permablend, Lou Rubino. Yay! So, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us. He just landed literally, literally. half an hour ago <laughs> just to be here. That's true. So, <laughs> thanks, Lou. So today we have our distributors, our academies joining us. Um, as well as some artists. So I just want to be clear that this is not the official launch day. Uh, we are not going to be selling the product to anyone who is a non-distributor today. Um, so I just wanted to let everyone know. And our goals for this presentation are pretty simple. The first is to introduce you to our new lip collection solution. Um, and secondly, we really want to be able to educate you, uh, to be able to empower you to really stand behind this product and be able to go out there and sell this product and, and this new solution. So before we get into the presentation, I just want to go over a quick agenda with you. Uh, we have, well, firstly, we're going to start off with a brand story, a quick brand story. Then we're going to hop into industry trends. Uh, we're then going to present you with the opportunity that we found when doing our research and then present you with our solution. Then we're going to go into our full product offering and then we're going to quickly touch on our uh, coordinated launch strategy. And then we're gonna end this off for those who can stick around for maybe 10, 15 minutes with a little Q&A. So feel free to submit your questions throughout the presentation. Um, we'll get to them at the very end. So um, now feast your eyes on this. to us we really really value our relationship with you and we always want to be open with our partners um, and we always want to make sure that you know who you've chosen to partner with so uh, it's very important to us that you understand what our vision is and that's to inspire confidence through accessible permanent beauty and our mission is to make permanent cosmetics mainstream through the creation of game-changing products and empowering artists to share uh, cutting-edge techniques before we get into everything, I want to tell you about this guy. I'm really, really lucky today to actually have him with us. He just landed, and I want to tell you the story about how we met. So I've been tattooing for 20 years, and even after 15 years, I struggled so much with my eyebrow colors. I had weird, funky colors fading. I couldn't get good retention, and I was struggling. Every single line that I had used in the past was failing me, and my, me and my colleagues were desperately looking for solutions. We literally would call each other, message each other, and say, oh my God, I got some weird green eyebrows, I got some orange eyebrows, what do I do? I'm stressed out. So we were so desperate, and my good friend, Rhonda Bacanti, went to a tattoo show, came across some world famous and permanent blend inks, and she's like, I'm trying these, Tina, you should try them. So of course, I'm listening to her because literally we were, everything we were told was don't use body inks, only use permanent makeup inks. I'm like, yeah, I did that for 15 years, but it's still not working. So 
I really wanted a different solution and I trusted her. She's been my pal forever. And that's how I got introduced to World Famous. And we started using it and we could not believe our eyes. We were getting 90% retention. And then even after a month, six months, a year, we were still seeing the same results. And it, it went against everything I ever knew. And if you have been in permanent makeup for a while, you know what I mean. But if you're new and you're using Permaglan, you don't know how lucky you guys are. So what I did was I called Wu, and I remember I was standing um, on, on uh, Young Street, which is close to where I live, in front of a restaurant, and I got him on the phone and said, tell me everything about how you make ink. You remember how much I grilled you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that conversation <laughs> yeah. like? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, the permanent makeup world was uh, kind of brainwashed, and uh, we were having conversations about some of the things that you were told, and, um, you know, the, the things that they were teaching, and how I was like, not true, not true, not true, you know, and basically that, that's what I found when I got involved in permanent makeup was that, you know, being a tattoo artist myself and growing up in the tattoo world, um, I'm tattooing over 30 years now and, uh, you know, making uh, pigments for a very long time. So, you know, I made pigments for the tattoo industry. And then when I got into permanent makeup, I realized that everything that these permanent makeup people were told was a bunch of lies. So I just really wanted to change that and change the world and the thinking and the way, you know, we were able to produce the products and give them something that would last and not change color and get rid of the nonsense. <laughs> yeah. And I, at the time you were telling me this, I, I couldn't believe it to be true, but you said to me, just come down to the tattoo Even shop. Even my sister didn't believe me. My <laughs> own sister. We, 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 we had a permanent makeup studio and uh, she was, uh, you know, doing the permanent makeup with my wife also. And, and you know, I was telling them, they told you what? They, they, are you kidding me? No, that's not true. And she's like, that's what they teach. That's what they, and these are famous people. I'm like, I don't care how famous they are. It's, it's BS, you know, and, uh, you know, she didn't believe me. And then uh, finally later on, when people like Tina Davies believed me and realized what I was saying was true, then she's like, oh, maybe you're right. I'm like, oh, now I'm right. Look at this. <laughs> it took other people outside the family to tell you I was right for you to believe me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's like family, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just funny the way the whole thing uh, went about and came about and things so. Well, what I really liked is I said to you, I grilled you, okay? Mm. And then you said, come on down next week into the tattoo show. You remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I dragged this guy. Oh, yeah, I come yeah, with yeah. me. He's like, well, what about the kids? I said, okay, grandparents, let's <laughs> go. Let's go and see what this guy's about. Yeah. And what you're, because you're like, come to my show. And typically in permanent makeup shows, there's a lot of lectures. And then you, maybe you get to watch people tattoo on a stage far, far right, away. Right, right. And the tattoo and permanent makeup didn't mix either at that time. So, no. So we were bringing, you know, you to a tattoo show, which was like, unheard of you know yes yes i, I told and now like when you go to world famous current blend shows like everyone's mixing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> really i mean some people try and build a wall between the industries but we like to break that wall down and and you know i think it's it, they they go together great so why not you know yeah skin skin yeah yeah I mean, it's 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 a lot we're doing a lot of the same things we're using a lot of the same products you know so so why not so guys, I want to tell you the story. What happened when I went to the tattoo show is there was over maybe New York tattoo show, how many booths? Uh, 250. 250 booths. Artists working in booths, working on skin, tattooing maybe eight, 12 hours, massive tattoo contests. And artists would be tattooing there like some kind of beautiful scorpion. I would hang over their shoulders like, excuse me, does that ink change color? Mm -hmm. um, does that fade? And they look at me like, what are you talking <laughs> about? It's Who a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, like I don't have one tattoo on my body, you know, and they've got real customers lining up. And like, so I was at the tattoo show asking him these questions because not only did I want to ask Lou, I wanted to ask tattoo artists because everything I was told before was like, don't use ink, it's dangerous. Um, your insurance company won't cover it. Just crazy things. So I figured I'm going to ask these artists myself. I got information from them, and then I, I wanted to share it with you guys because you, you're my, you, you guys are like my sisters, my brothers, and if I want something good, I want to share it with you. So um, 
seeing that helps solidify with me what what's working it's like i want to talk to end users i don't want to just talk to let's say a chemist a manufacturer or buy this buy that i want to talk to the real end users that say yeah you see this brown dog this brown dog has been on my client for you know 10 years so that i i believe that what i see so from there i said to lou can you make me a line mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So um, then we started working on some stuff and coming up with some ideas and you had some great ideas, which was awesome. You know, so we were able to take uh, my knowledge and, you know, you put your knowledge together and really come up with something special. And what I liked mostly about Lou was their commitment to safety. They had their resap in order. They followed all the regulations and their CTL certificates, which is very different from what we see in permanent makeup. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So yeah, um, Europe has uh, the most stringent regulations uh, in the world right now. And uh, in Europe, uh, we have to do all kinds of testing, you know, to make sure the, the colors are safe, you know, to use, uh, you know, make sure there's no heavy metals and carcinogens in the ink. And, you know, so we have to go through these stringent tests and uh, sterilization, you have to sterilize the pigments and also, um, you know, get tests to make sure that they're sterile. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different tests that you have to do and it's it's you know We always try and be ahead and be on top of this stuff and you know, we're moving forward and doing tons of tests and uh, tons of um, You know uh, looking into stuff and new products and stuff and trying to figure out compliance. Yeah, 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 I mean we also I have now ISO 13485, which is awesome. You know, we're, we're the first uh, tattoo company in the States for sure. I don't know about worldwide, but to, uh, you know, get ISO 13485. Um, and many don't even have ISO at all, but we went one step above. You know, like the FDA has a new bill out there, which they're requiring ISO 9001, mm -hmm. which is uh, much simpler to get. And we went uh, ahead and got ISO 13485 which is a medical ISO. So we're, we're, we're considered a, a medical grade facility. So all, all of our accountability and traceability on products is, is very detailed, you know, and that's what it's all about. It's a lot, of, a lot of paperwork, a lot of detail. You know, we hired somebody for the quality control that handles all the, all, all the detailed quality control. Everything's on paper, you know, uh, drawdowns, everything, you know, making sure everything matches up and everything. And then we also have a... Uh, um, a safety manager who handles all the safety and make sure all our, our tests are up to date and and you know even just the safety of the facility and the people working in it so uh, it's you know it's it's really just it's the main thing is like just having uh, traceability on every single lot and being able to go out there and say okay we we made this lot on this day it got bottled by this person it got labeled by this person and then, you know, it was shipped out by this person, packaged up by this person. I mean, like every yeah, right. little detail is yes. on there. So the, 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 um, the paperwork actually follows the product through our, through our facility and then out the door. Wow. So it's, it's pretty awesome. That is. Yeah. Sounds very thorough. But yeah, yeah, why yeah. don't, just to hop in here, why don't you, uh, Tina, tell us about the first collection that you guys made together and you collaborated on and how maybe this translates into lips. So now for our most exciting innovation. We started off with brows two years ago, and what was great about it is that it was very, very simple. There was no mixing, there was no modifying. It came with a simple color chart. It was very easy for artists to use. We want to replicate that same formula, bring it into the most popular thing that's on the market today, which is lips. So I wanna show you how we did it. Okay, so Tina's the product visionary. She's the one who makes everything up. She's the one who invents anything, everything here. And my job is to like make sure we look pretty. <laughs> In addition to looking pretty, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> that hasn't happened in a long time. <laughs> my actual job is to like help us understand like should we really do this? Like, is this something that we should invest our time and our money? And the way that I went about trying to figure this out is through research. So we, we focused on two key groups. We went and conducted some actual formal research with both uh, well-known cosmetic artists that are really good at lips, as well as we talked to some people that had gotten lip procedures and people that were in the, like, the consideration phase of lip procedures, and we asked them a bunch of questions. So the questions that, um, after we got all those questions back, we learned a bunch of information about lip procedures in general and where there may be some opportunities. 
And the trends that we identified were, were pretty clear. So first and foremost, we found that there's a lot of anxiety with women when they want to get their lips done. It's a very sensitive area, procedures can hurt, and it's going to stay there for the rest of your life. So women are like quite anxious before they want to get a procedure done. The next thing that we learned is that artists have a hard time showing people what the final outcome is going to look like, and they end up like trying to show a potential client in a bottle, like this is the color that's going to be on their face forever. And that just doesn't translate very well to like an experience that a potential customer is going to be like, oh, okay, I'm confident. So the other thing that came back specifically from the artists was they, they were pretty clear that lips are hard, retention is an issue, it's very technical, and we found that they were spending two, three, sometimes four appointments to get a good lip procedure done. And then finally, we also found through talking to artists that they weren't really satisfied with the available colors. So we were hearing, you know, we'd love it if we could see things that we find in Sephora. I want images to look like the fashion models we see on Instagram and in magazines. And it's hard to do with the existing lip colors. So we took those four things and we made it our mission to solve for that. And we thought, okay, if we can satisfy these needs, we're probably onto something. And here's a little preview of what we're on to. Our solution is Lip Blush Redefine, and this is a completely new process for you to do your lip procedures and help your clients. We knew four big opportunities existed. Clients are anxious about getting their lip procedure done. They can't imagine what the outcome looks like by looking at it in a bottle. Existing lip colors are dated and don't look modern and natural, and retention is still an issue, and lip procedures are hard. So we made it our mission to solve these four things with the goal of helping both artists and clients achieve beautiful outcomes. This is how we did it, step by step. It starts with reinventing the lip consultation. Our research told us that women are anxious, right? So we wanted to help them visualize the results. Women like to try things on first, right Alex? Definitely, I love trying things on. <laughs> if you've ever been shopping with a woman, you know she tries every makeup, every piece of clothing before she can actually buy something. So we wanted to apply this same comfort to women. Um, the consultation would allow women to try a lip gloss so they can visualize what it looks like on them, getting them excited, getting them comfortable. I've been testing this on my clients and they really like this. It's simple, it's impactful, and it gets them an idea to see what the finished results will be like and they will e easily say yes. They even ask if they can purchase the lip gloss to take home. The color palette is a big focus too. Our research showed us that artists had a hard time finding natural modern colors. And they wanted to see things that they usually see in the stores. So I wanted the line to be based on the popular palettes of today. You know, all the colors that you see on Instagram, basically. Colors that could be worn day to day by women and it doesn't feel scary to them. Things like beautiful nudes, baby pinks, soft corals, and perfect cinnamon colors. And most importantly, I want to make sure that it was easy for the artist and the client. I call this one and done. What we learned from our research is that many artists have challenges with retention and it required lots of appointments. We made the line with super extra pigment load. You could tell us about that, Lou. Load it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we loaded it up to the back. So I kept hearing Tina say it was extra pigment, extra pigment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty direct. <laughs> she knows what she wants. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, is that when lips are the mucous membrane, they cannot hold and handle a lot of trauma. So when you deliver pigment in there, the more pigment you have, the more saturation, the more retention you're going to have. So I bug this guy. Give me more pigment, more pigment. 
which is, is going to mean happier clients, less time in the chair, and more referrals. So it's not just new products we're offering, it's a new system. What you want to do is you want to help your clients first try it out with the lip blush. Next, when you move on to your procedure, we have the matching pencil in the chosen color so you can do your pre-draw. Then we have heavily pigmented inks for you to do your procedure. And then lastly, you can take the lip blush and then give it or sell it to your client. So it's an all-in-one solution. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm a nerd at the end of this because I'm a research guy apparently on this, on this mission. So you're probably thinking, wow, this seems like a great system. It all makes sense to me, but like, do people want to get lip procedures right now? That's what I was thinking. So again, I did some research. One of the first things I did is I looked at Google searches for a couple of keywords like lip blush and lip tattoos. And that's the chart you can see here um, that shows a nice up into the right uh, trend line. The same thing exists for Instagram hashtags. So if you, if you look up the Instagram hashtag lip blushing or lip blush as an example, the frequency of usage of that hashtag is, is also up. Um, the next step that we took to get super comfortable with, like, do we want to make a lip line now, was we took a look at the courses we saw in our, in our online academy, and the course that's selling the most, and this, again, is a trend that's been increasing recently, is our lip blushing course. So that shows us that more and more artists are getting requests from their customers to do lip blushing, and they want to get skilled in that, in that modality. And then, um, Lou, you'll like this, uh, we looked at our sales data. So about three and a half months ago, we started carrying a full line of permablend, and I took a hard look at the colors that are moving faster. And, and what I learned is it's the reds, it's the pinks. And for us, that suggested like, hey, this is like this is something that's new and it's hot and it's a it's a timely it's procedure. Demand. It's in demand, yeah. yeah. And this uh, this came on in this other picture to the right is something that was on Facebook just a couple of days ago, and it's literally an artist showing a lipstick saying, hey, how do I get this color? A notice her notice like, nails match it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is her favorite color, match this. So like, it couldn't be more clear to us that like, there's a real need for people to try before they buy, try before they go through it, try before they commit. And all the data seems to support that. So we're very confident that now is a great time to invest in a product before a system like this. So after months and months and months and pretty much almost over a year of uh, Tina and her team and our team developing this solution for you, I'm so excited to finally be able to present uh, what we have in store for you and all of the offerings. So from 12 new colors that we've created, we created two main collections. Uh, we have then broken down a those two collections into several different smaller offerings for you and your customers. So the, four, the first collection we're offering is called the Envy Lip Collection. This product will retail for 225 USD. Um, it will include our cinnamon, nude, dusty pink, magenta, pink rose, and wine pigments. The collection will also include six matching lip blushes, six matching lip pencils, one full color chart, sorry, full size color chart. And we've also included 10 disposable applicators uh, for artists to use to try colors on their clients. Next up, we have the second of both collections called the Lust Lip Collection, also retailing at that same 225 US uh, price. This collection will include flame, orange coral, peach, perfect pink, pink coral, and soft red. And again, this collection comes with those six pigments, and we've matched it with the six blushes, the six pencils, a color chart, and again, those 10 disposable applicators. Those two products are actually gonna launch right off the bat on February 14th. Two weeks later, we're gonna be launching our blush set, which is this product here. It's going to come in two variations, one for Envy and one for Lust colors. Um, it will retail for $65 US, which we have priced super competitively. Uh, most of the girls here at the office wear these colors on a day-to-day -day basis because they're so easy to wear. Um, we're loving them here at the office. We have limited quantities of this product, so uh, they're definitely going to be in high demand, so make sure to get your pre-orders in. Um, but again, this product does come in the Envy set and the Lust set. Moving on, we have the individual lip, lip blush retailing at just 15, yeah, <laughs> retailing at just 15 US dollars. Um, and again, this product will come in all 12 of our colors. 
about two weeks later, we'll be launching our Lip Duo along with all of our the, the rest of our offerings. So this specific product will retail at $30. It will include uh, the pigment with its matching pencil and it will come in all 12 colors. We've also added in um, a mini color chart to this product. We then have our Trio, which will retail for $40. This product will include a pigment, its matching lip blush, and its matching pencil, as well as that mini color chart, and it will come in all 12 colors. Next up, we have our individual lip pencil, retailing at just $10 per pencil. Uh, it will come in all 12 colors, and if you notice, it actually also comes with a built-in sharpener. Um, that's for artists who care and, and I mean, sanitary products going from client to client is super, super important here. Uh, so we wanted to throw that in as, as a plus. Next up, we have our set of pencils. So this product will be sold, there, there will be two variations of this product as well, one for Envy Colors, one for Lust. Um, and it will retail for $40 US, and it'll include six of the pencils from each collection. Last but not least, we have our ink kit. Uh, this product will retail for $175, and it will include six of the pigments, so it will come in two variations, uh, the first for Envy and second for Lust. It will include the six pigments, and it's ma they're matching lip pencils. It also comes with that mini color chart, and a really, really cute um, cosmetic holographic branded bag that you see in the background there. Goodies. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, our color chart. Uh, this product will be sold separately as well for $6. And that's about it. Guys, I want to show you some real pictures in real life, what it looks like. Um, starting many months ago, I started sending out the inks to artists, my pro team and esteemed artists, so I can get their feedback and get their real um, uh, uh, user experience and tell me what it's like. So I want to share with you their healed results. On the left we have Elaine Campin. She's put together a collage and it shows the colors cinnamon and dusty pink. You can see the before and also the progression photos. See how the healing goes and how it's starting to dry up and at the end you can see how smooth that color is. So that's cinnamon and dusty pink. In the middle, we have Miriam Grice. She's known for more of her uh, lipstick saturated look, which I love as well. So you're gonna have clients that love both, okay? Um, this is magenta and pink rose. Really, really lovely, and look at that shape. Totally gorgeous. And then on the right, we have Anita Abramo from Canada. This is with nude and dusty pink. And what I did was I showed her Instagram picture. I said, hey, can you make ombre lips? And the next day, she tattooed it, and she showed it, and she posted it. So basically, your imagination is limitless. You can do any kind of color combination, any kind of shape. Just feel free to do whatever suits you and suits your clients best. What you want to do as well is search up our hashtag, which is I Love Ink, Tina Davies, uh, Tina Davies Lip Blush, and you'll see lots of pictures posted on there. You can then use those pictures as references when you want to find out, hey, how does soft red look? How does magenta look? And use those as info and just save it on your phone. All right. When can you get your hands on all these amazing products? Uh, the first launch is the collections, which is Valentine's Day, coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll be launching uh, both the Lust and the Envy Pigment collections. The next thing that will come out will be on March 4th, and that's just the blush sets and the individual blushes. The reason there is uh, we anticipate that artists are going to give these away to their customers. They're going to move through them pretty quick, so we know that we'll have to replenish those fast. And then finally, come April 1st, everything else that Alex shared with you will be available. So thank you everyone for joining okay. us today. Um, we thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good job. We, good job. <laughs> we really hope that after sitting through the webinar, you feel more empowered and uh, more educated, and, and now you can really take this and um, present it and, and roll it out into the rest of the world with us. Uh, so if you do have time, stick around. We are going to be going through a little Q&A. Um, we're going to cover some questions that are still rolling in and some pre-submitted questions. But if you can, always feel free to reach out to me um, at alexatinadies.com with any questions or your pre-orders if you are ready to go. So let's see the Q&A. Oh. 
You didn't get people to increase your screen. Right, so uh, this part of the webinar, you are just gonna want to expand um, the webcam view of the four of us. So either double click the screen, or you're gonna want to drag the corner down to expand that little, um, that little box. Okay, so we have a couple questions rolling in. Um, so I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, Phi? Three. Three? Okay. <laughs> um, which color is best for someone who is fits four to six who wants to lighten their lips? Okay, this is a good question. Um, it's basically about, let's say you have a client who has a dark lip, dark skin tone, fits four to six. So she's probably, let's say, looking like, Oprah, and she wants her lips to be lighter. This is a very challenging case, and when someone has a very cool, dark lip, it's very hard to make it lighter. You can use colors that are extremely warm, but I only would want you to attempt this if you're very skilled. So you want to use warm colors. Okay, next question. Uh, will you come out with pencils for the current I Love Ink pigments to help with consultations? Anonymous attendee with a product suggestion. <laughs> Thanks, anonymous <laughs> attendee. <laughs> you want to take that? Um, if you tell us her name, we'll give you an answer. <laughs> no, guys, we already have the Pro Pencil uh, in brown and black, and usually those are the only two colors you need. We could take that into consideration for next time, though. Good idea. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, okay, so how can we put in our pre-orders? So anyone attending, the, uh, sorry, partners will be provided the uh, link to re-watch this webinar. If you wanted to as well, you will be um, given the sell sheets. So tomorrow, keep an eye on your inbox for those. But you can always submit your orders to myself at alex at tinadavies.com. Um, anonymous attendee again, which needles do you usually use for lip blush liner? The most popular needle is a 1RL, single needle. She has a tattoo artist, so I think that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But, it's, it's very <laughs> but it is, it's what people use it. I would use a big magnum and just fill it all in. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question for Lou. Yeah. Well, what I would use and what you know, you might use is something different. It's really the preference of the artist. You know, just like tattooing, you know, um, if I'm filling a big area, I might use a really big magnet where somebody might use something smaller. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of it's a personal preference and the, you know, the feel of what, how you do your work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, quickly, Rose. Hi, Rose. Sorry I missed that. And then, Terry, I think we just actually answered this question. Will we be able to rewatch this? Yes, um, it will be included in the partner email tomorrow going out. So stay tuned. Um, some questions that rolled in pre-webinar. Uh, Tina, actually, this is a good one. Maybe, Lou, you can answer this now that you're here. How are your inks made? Well, <laughs> it's a long process. Yeah. <laughs> But basically, uh, you know, you take uh, powdered pigments and they're and they're wet with uh, mills, and you know they ground down the pig. We grind the pigment down and uh, mix them together, mix colors together, and uh, and produce you know uh, the pigments. Cool, very cool. But the, and this other question of once the bottle is open, how long does it last? I'd like to answer that too. Go for it. Um, so basically, you know, the expiry date on a bottle is three years out. But if you look at the label, there's a little jar on there with a, and it's an open jar yeah, yeah. and it has a number 12 on it. Yeah. What that means is once it's opened, yes. it's only good for 12 months. Right. So you shouldn't really keep ink longer than a year after it's been opened. Yeah, that's a very good point. So make sure you guys, once you open the bottle, you're looking at that little number sign uh, on the back of the bottle. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> uh, so, Tina, why don't you answer this one? Are the or how do these colors differ from regular permaline lip colors? Well, they're a t totally different palette. I didn't want to copy the exact palette, obviously. Um, so the colors are more muted. I find that a lot of the girls today want these softer colors, and also is that they they have more. Pigment. <laughs> more pigment, <laughs> So uh, hopefully you'll be able to get more deposit. Not only that, but it comes with the lip blush and the lip pencil. Yeah. And I know that uh, Tina has spent a lot of time figuring out these colors so oh, yeah. to make sure that they're the right colors and very special. Uh, just like she did with the eyebrow collection, 
we were like, you know, um, in tattooing, you know, I always refer back to tattooing because yeah. that's my history. So um, in tattooing, it started out, you know, when I started my first color company, we had 25 colors, you know, and now we have over 400 colors in our things. So, you know, we just found that the market for tattooing required more and more and more, where you went the opposite direction and said, let me fine tune it and use less colors so that this way it's easier to choose and, and more refined. And which was really awesome. It worked out great with the eyebrows. And now let's see what we can do with the lips. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a dining room back. Yeah, <laughs> room for years too, yeah so. I saw all the pictures and videos you guys sent with colors all over the place and playing around with them for a very long time. And it's a lot of you know, people don't realize how much research that you put into this and how much time of your own that you really concentrate on making sure that these are the perfect colors. I know, personally, <laughs> believe me, I know. I've gotten the phone calls and the changes and the, you know, mm -hmm. let's let's try this, let's do this. And I mean, it's 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 great that you put this much time and effort into it and uh, it really shows, so. Well, it's fun, yeah, I really yeah, enjoy yeah. it. It's makeup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Luke, why don't you take this one? Why don't you release all of the, pro all of the products at once? Uh, primarily because we, firmly believe in the system. So we think that once artists embrace this try it, ink it, sorry, try it, dry it, ink it, blush it, they're gonna have less anxious customers, they're gonna have better outcomes, and they wanna give that system a chance. So we wanna let the collection sit out there for a little bit so people can actually embrace the whole new system more often. Awesome. Uh, Terry Lively wants to know, are you gonna be doing pre-orders for customers prior to release on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, by the way? <laughs> I'm assuming not, or would we, or we would have been told. Yeah, so we're not going to be taking any pre-orders um, before Feb 14th, and we would appreciate it if uh, our distributor partners did not take pre-orders um, with their customers. We're all in this together. We want to launch at the same time. Awesome. That's the best way to do it. It's yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. Worldwide too. Like we have distributors in other countries who are releasing the same time, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We all go together. Yeah. We're gonna hope. Yes. <laughs> yes. Better together. Definitely better together. So don't get caught selling in advance. <laughs> <laughs> or Lou's going to come get you. <laughs> I've already won people. <laughs> um, okay. If there aren't any other questions, uh, there are some product related questions. Luke, do you mind swapping oh, yeah. the seats with me? So oh, Tina and I can do a little product demo and pull this closer a little. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so I want to show you guys what the product looks like a little closer up to the screen. So here's the Envy collection. Once you open it, you have a couple inserts that are going to fall out, but we have the color chart and we have the process, little insert, I love ink insert here. And then as you can see, you have your six pigments, your six matching pencils will be over here, and then your six matching blush blushes will be down at the very bottom. And right under the blushes, you'll have the disposable applicator. So make sure to pull that out of the case. Uh, we have a question. Tina, can you show us how much lip blush product to use during the consultation to mimic what the healed results will look like? Yeah, so this part is the try it part, and you want to get comfortable with this and get very versed in it. So when you receive your collection, make sure you yourself try this on. I know this is not gonna be a problem because women, we love to go and try on lipsticks at Sephora all day. Luke actually calls it stay for hours. <laughs> I tell him to go get a pizza, a donut, and come back and he comes back and he's like, are you ready? I'm like, what, what are you doing here so fast? So um, let's go into the lip blushes. Try them yourself firstly, okay? I want to tell you that these lip blushes, just like the inks, are super, super concentrated. Why is that? Because I wanted to make sure that you're getting high pigment load, a product that's going to last you a long time, especially if you're going to be using it to try it on your clients. So when you open them, you'll notice that they're extremely saturated. This is important because if you put too much on your client at one time, the color might look too dark. Okay. Oh, wait. There's the applicator. And so if someone were to ask if these lip blushes are like more like lip glosses or more like lipsticks, what would you say? 
I would say they actually apply like a lipstick. So if you have a client that wants a lipstick effect, go ahead and put it on all the way. But if a client wants a lip blush effect, make sure you don't put too much on. So let me, um, let me just show you how a, a typical consultation would go. So Alex, look here and tell me what, what color you would like. Okay, so I would personally go for something that's not super, super saturated, something more of like a blush, but more in like the nudie tones. Okay, so very natural, very soft. Does this look like something you would like? Something over here? Yep, the nude cinnamon. So guess what? I have a color called nude. <laughs> okay, so let me find nude. This is nude, you guys. I think it's better if I hold it up to a piece of paper. Yeah. Here's nude. When you open it, don't use the applicator it's included, okay? Get your disposable lip brush. This one here, and dip it in. Now because she wants it to look translucent. I'm not gonna put too much on. So you're gonna turn towards me. Here we go, guys. This is the fun part. And I start with the bottom lip. Open big, good. Now I want you to press your lips together. When she presses her lips together, the color is very light and sheer. Oh my God, it feels, it honestly feels so light, like as if there's nothing on my lips. These are also smudge proof, weightless. So okay. what you wanna do is make sure you let it dry for a little bit. Have a look in the mirror and tell okay. me if you like this color. Does that look like what you This is like, mind? this is perfect. Yeah? Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, just a hint of color, right? Not too much. So if I want, if I didn't like this color and I wanted to try a different color on, I could wipe this off and then we could try on a different color from the collection? That's right. So basically you can go through this process with your client. She wants to try two or three. And then from there, literally, you're going to transfer from the lip blush right directly into the ink as the one that you're going to tattoo onto her lips. Awesome. And just to give you guys an idea of what the pencil looks like, where's that white piece of paper that you're using? Mm -hmm. right so as I mentioned, it does come with that sharpener at the end of the pencil, and you have the color swatch at the end so you can see what color you're using. Any other questions, guys, before we finish? I think I'm gonna show the colors too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so let me show you the colors, guys. This here, is soft red. I didn't want this to be a fire engine red. This actually almost looks like the color that um, was shown in that Instagram post. That's soft red. This is in Lust Collection. Here is pink coral. Curls are really important because corals have warm bases and most lips are cool. So the coral colors are gonna keep lips from looking dull or gray. You really need to have corals in your collection. This here is perfect pink and literally it's your perfect mid-tone everyday use pink. Next I have peach here. Peach is like Fruity color, light mid value, very, very popular. This is the, the most popular Instagram color. It's like this almost a watermelon color. Next, I have orange coral. So it's still in the warm family. It's deeper than uh, peach. And lastly, there's flame. Flame is the warmest color. It's your darkest value color. And this is the type of color you're going to use the most when you come across someone who has a very, very cool lip. Because most people naturally do not want orange lipstick, but you come across someone who has cool lips, you put an orange warm color into their lips, guess what? They're gonna heal right in the middle, which is gonna be your pinkish lean. So I just quickly to interrupt, I have to show you guys. I have this lip blush on and it's literally, it does not come off when you're drinking water. So it will stay on all day, I would say, or 
once it's dried down. Um, but it is, it is definitely more of a, a it's like a lip stain. Yeah. A, yeah. Like a lip stain. Yeah. The way that, uh, this was formulated was to be a lip stain in the sense that what I noticed is a lot of women complain they don't wear lipstick because they can't keep it on. It comes off, they eat it off, they talk it off. So the formula basically stains and stays on your lips, but there's no weight and it's not dry and it's super, super concentrated. Okay. So we do have a couple of more questions rolling in here. Um, when is the last day for pre-order? So I can address this. So I want to make sure that everyone's receiving their product in time to launch with us on the 14th. Uh, so we are asking that your pre-order is the last day to submit pre-orders as a distributor. Okay? As a di yeah. So as a distributor is on February 5th, um, and payments should be processed that same day, the sixth will be the last day that payment should be processed in order for the, sh the shipments to arrive to you on time. So this week. So yeah, yeah send it to week. Alex at tunadavies.com. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll get those processed for you and shipped out immediately. Let me show up the rest of the colors. Okay. And then we'll answer the rest of the questions. Too. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, let me just show you the rest of the colors quickly. This is wine. Wine is the, a dark value and it's your coolest color. What's great about this color, even though it's not popular with women, this is the color that you use when you want to darken a color. You want to just pull it a little deeper. And this one here is called Pink Rose, a dark, a dark value as well. So this is going to give you more of that saturation. It's actually what I have. I have Pink Rose. Here is Magenta. Magenta is your purpley pink. Very, very popular as well. And then I have dusty pink. It's more of a muted pink. Some, this type of color is very popular because some people don't want that bright pink. They want the toned down pink. And this is nude. This is what Alex has on. Hmm, pretty. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. This is super popular. When you do somebody in nude, though, I have to warn you, they always want more. <laughs> Women always want more, right? <laughs> Maybe not with the Max Pig Love. <laughs> <laughs> They're entitled to always have more. Though. What can you do? Uh, and this last one, not, not least, though, this is cinnamon. And this is going to be more of your brownie pink. It's about a medium value. So everything here is medium to dark value or more because there's no point to tattooing something that's a light value. It's too weak, it's too light, you're gonna have to redo that client again. So this gives you an idea of the entire palette and yes, you can mix the colors. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You can use them straight up though and literally just show the clients from here what you have to offer. So last question of the evening over here in Canada. Uh, so from anonymous attendee as well. So we will not be able to do Aquarel lips because it's loaded with pigment or we can just use less passes and get that effect. Apologies if this has been answered. Okay, so Aquarel lips is a technique or a style where the lips look very translucent. So you can definitely do the same technique. It's loaded with pigment. You can just do less passes. So same effect. Okay, so last chance. If anyone has any questions, last minute questions, you have five seconds to, <laughs> to submit. If not, if that's all for tonight, um, I wanna thank you again for taking the time to join us and sit in on the webinar. Uh, have a great rest of your mornings or wherever you are in the world or, or evenings. And thanks again, everyone, for joining. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.